Okay, welcome back. Uh, actually, I just realized something now that I supposed to declare another divider for this input. So if you look at the input very well, you see that there are some conditions that is meant for the input and will not be uh, applicable to the button and will also not be appli to, uh, applicable to the to this paragraph that is down here so the paragraph at the link okay so let's quickly effect that so I've so for input now I'm going to be declaring another div so that meant for for the input so I'm going to cut this away and go and put it at the end of all inputs somewhere here before the button okay so now uh, what do I need to give the where is it okay this is the div so let me give it let's say it can be an ID or class let's, let's give it the class name of input fine so Having done that, then our button we can style it separately. Then what other thing after button? So we have a paragraph. Okay, already have an account. Let me see login. okay so that's a paragraph right paragraph so it's going to be already up an account then the login is an anchor tag So the login is an anchor tag and then let's say already have an account login uh, yes you read direct so this login now will be an address or the next form of where the person can log in are you getting it now so far we don't have any address now so let me just put in anything uh, HTTPSS, HTTPS, slash, slash, www dot dot com. So, let's save it and view it. All right so it's beautiful now it seems we are done with our html part it is now left for us to go and styling under css all right so thank you and see you in the next class bye